everyone, welcome to another thrift shop haul slash eBay haul. Most of this is actually from eBay, I think, but it's all secondhand and I think I got some really, really good stuff. Some of this stuff I actually got quite a few months ago and I think I just forgot to show you it in a haul. So there's a mishmash of recent finds and older finds. I've been buying a lot of secondhand stuff the last few months because I'm working on a lookbook video and this lookbook is sponsored and it's been in the making for, I don't know, it's been a long time sorting this out. And I knew I wanted the lookbook to be as much as I possibly could all secondhand clothes. I just wanted to really show people that um, you can look awesome and find some banging stuff secondhand and for a good price. So I wanted the whole lookbook to be as thrifty as possible. So I've just been like on the hunt for complete outfits uh, for a while and been buying lots of little bits so I have been buying a lot more than I usually would so that's my excuse <laughs> for why I sort of went a bit secondhand mad lately. <laughs> okay so the first thing is one of the things that I bought quite a few months back and completely forgot about. I found this in a charity shop but I can't for the life of me remember which one it was and I'm pretty sure it was like one to two pounds and it's this little box. It's a little wooden box with like some patterns on it and I just thought it was so beautiful and funky. I have a thing for like old funky looking jewellery boxes. Um, I think it's because I had so many given to me from my mum, my nan, I've got some under my bed as well, um, like a bunch of old wooden jewellery boxes. There's just something really nostalgic and lovely about them. This has already got like a bunch of stuff in. I love like the red velvety material on the inside. I feel like that's very, it's very nostalgic and retro to me. Most of the old jewellery boxes I've got have got this like bright red <laughs> velvet on the inside. Uh, the bottom is just blank and it has these little wooden feet. It's very lovely and it sits on my mantelpiece and holds my crap. <laughs> Next up let's talk about the thing I'm wearing which I'm so excited about. Funny story about this, this is a Xena t-shirt and I've for a really long time wanted um, the original vintage, kind of vintage, <laughs> um, version of one of these t-shirts. I really wanted one. Earlier this year I bought one from America which was way too big for me but it was the only one I could find at the time. It was this exact design and it was massive and I paid god 30 to 40 pounds maybe to get it shipped over from America and I gave it to my nan who's a seamstress and said like can you alter this so it will fit me and then her machine broke so she couldn't actually do it for me so it's just sitting at my nan's house and then I was looking around on eBay looking for some Xena stuff every now and again I'll just go see what Xena things are out there often I regret it because there's really really cool things like props from the show that collectors are getting rid of and I want to buy them all and I saw this t-shirt for sale this one is exactly my size uh, the person selling it was located in a village like half an hour away from me and I won it for £2.20. <laughs> so I kind of feel a bit silly that I spent loads of money on one from America that doesn't fit me, that is sitting at my nan's house now, like the exact same t-shirt, but I couldn't say no to this. I mean, I'm so, so happy that I finally got it. I've wanted one of these for so long. Of all the Xena t-shirts I've seen, all the designs, this is my favourite. This has always been my favourite one. Um, so I'm just really really pleased to have it. But yeah, now I have two. <laughs> one of them is way too big for me. The other one I'll probably just sell on eBay now and won't make my money back. <laughs> but it's okay. I can't believe I got it for £2.20. Especially when I paid so much money. <laughs> so much money for the other one. This next thing is not so much of a bargain really. I mean, it's one of the most expensive things I've bought second hand. But technically it was still very much reduced in price from what it was originally. This was originally £75 apparently from Topshop. It's a fake leather jacket uh, with like a furry neckline. I don't know if it's this is the technical name for these kind of jackets but I call them like aviator jackets. Is that correct? I don't know. It just reminds me of like being a pilot <laughs> or something or Lara Croft. Looks like this. It's kind of hard to show you it just sitting here. Um, it's not as big as I would have hoped. All my other jackets have like plenty of arm space for if I wanted to wear a jumper underneath. This one's a lot tighter but then it's also a lot warmer so I don't really mind so much. 
that I couldn't fit a jumper under it because I don't think I'd want to. Whenever I go out wearing it at the minute, I end up way too hot. So in the proper winter months when it's really cold, I'm sure I'm gonna really appreciate this jacket. I just feel so badass when I wear it. Almost too badass. <laughs> like I worry that I look like I'm in cosplay or something. Especially when I wear this with my aviators and my boots and I'm like, do 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 Well, you can't tell by the way I use my walk. I feel like a badass pilot Lara Croft and it's kind of great. I got this for £38. Like I said, one of the most expensive secondhand things I've ever bought, but according to the listing and presuming they were telling the truth, <laughs> uh, the retail price was £75. So, you know, kind of a bargain when you take that into account, I guess. This is in perfect condition, but also kind of expensive. It hurt a little bit to spend that much, <laughs> but I really wanted this jacket. Next is another thing that I got in a charity shop a while back. I think this might have been from <laughs> Deborah. I swear there's a charity shop called Deborah. I can't remember what it's a charity for, but I think that was the one. <laughs> um, and I think this was 50p to a pound. And this is my purse. This is my everyday purse. Um, and I just think it's fantastic. It's kind of embossed with some little floral patterns and <laughs> I was just double checking, it's not real leather. <laughs> it just crossed my mind for a minute. Oh my God, what if it's real leather? But it's not. Um, and yeah, not a lot in there. No money, just um, old bus tickets. I hardly ever use a purse. When I bought this, I didn't even have one that I was using because I pretty much went everywhere with Alex at that point. I wouldn't really go out on my own. So I just let him hold on to my card and anything else that I needed, my ID. He would always have it in his wallet because we never went out separately um but then the more i started going out i was like i need to get a wallet for myself because i was just keeping all my money like in a massive pocket in my bag which wasn't very convenient so um when i saw this i thought ooh, ooh. and i got it because it's cute ah. next up i got a choker from ebay i think this is the only choker i've worn <laughs> um i've tried wearing chokers in the past but i always just felt a bit like Choky. I have to admit, I wore this one for an entire day for the first time recently, and by the end of the day, I was sort of, you know, getting a bit claustrophobic and like pulling it about and feeling a bit itchy and stuff. But this looks beautiful and is the most comfortable choker that I found so far. <laughs> so, this is a second hand little choker. Uh, it's gold with stars all across it, and it's apparently from Topshop originally, and I won this for £2.50. I think it's so pretty. Um, I struggle to know what to wear it with though. What's the best thing to wear chokers with? Anything? Probably anything, I guess. A t-shirt? Does that look nice? I love how delicate and small it is. I have a couple of other chokers that I bought that I never wore in the end because they were really quite thick um, and they were really, really itchy. This one's a little bit irritating because of the stars, but it's not that bad and it's cute. So I'll put up with it, <laughs> I'll put up with it for a bit. Uh, next from eBay, I got this bag. I wanted like a little, um, saddle crossbody sort of bag and I found this little fake leather burgundy saddle bag. It said that the retail price was £69 and I won this for £4.89 um, and I love it. I love the, the little pop stud thing. There's so many different compartments. There's two little pockets in here, a main big pocket there, several little pockets here, a middle pocket, another two pockets and another pocket. So many pockets. And a pocket on the front that has its own little pop stud. And I love the strap. The strap is nice and long, goes across my body. This little enamel pin badge is one of the next things that I was gonna show you. There's two of them, but I'm not sure where the other one is right now. <laughs> so I'll just insert a video clip of it. Um, but they're two um, RSPB bird pins. RSPB is the Royal, RS, Royal Society. <laughs> for the protection of birds, I think. Oh, SPB, yeah. Um, it's a bird thing. They were one pound each and I just thought they were really cute. And I put one on the corner of this bag to kind of spruce it up a bit. Next is a top that I wore in my recent Q&A video. I love the pattern on this and the design is so funky. This is by a brand called Desi Girl, Desi Girl, Desi Des something. I won this for five pound 60. I wish it was a little bit less clingy around the bottom. I actually stuffed it for a week when it turned up. 
I stuffed the bottom of it, it looked ridiculous. It was massive, it had like four pillows in it and loads of coats and towels and everything. It was like a big bell, but it just wouldn't take. And I've done that before with lots of lots of other things that I bought online that didn't fit properly. Perhaps it's something about this material, I don't know. But this just wasn't having it. It's not that I really, really hate it being tight fitted. It's just that I would love it so much more if it were loose and flowy and it's so pretty. It just looks like it should be loose and flowy, but I guess I would deal with it because it's beautiful and I love the colours and the patterns. It's so funky. So this is quite simple. I just bought a yellow scarf for three pounds. Hufflepuff pride. I wish it was a bit thicker. I thought it would be a bit thicker than this, but it looks nice and it was only three pounds and Hufflepuff pride. <laughs> Lastly, I have a jumper from New Look. I wanted to get a bunch of new jumpers before winter. I have another jumper that you probably have seen like in a bunch of Instagram posts recently that I got secondhand. I'm gonna feature that in my next thrift haul because it's currently in the washing machine because it's really dirty because I've worn it every single day since I got it because <laughs> I love it that much and it's stinky. But this one is like a white navy stripey uh, v-neck little jumper. <laughs> I won this for £6.99. It's really comfortable. I love the material. It's nice and sort of floppy. I love the little white trim around the bottom and around the end of the sleeves. That's everything that I have to show you for now. I'll be doing another thrift haul pretty, pretty soon um, because I have some bits in the washing machine <laughs> um, and some other things on their way that I bought for this lookbook video. So I'll be showing you some more stuff really soon. I think the next haul will be even better. Some of the new stuff that I've got on its way. So happy with. It's very addictive. You gotta be careful. Getting good bargains is very addictive. I know it feels good to get a bargain, but it doesn't feel good to have no money. <laughs> Sorry I didn't manage to get another video out in the middle of the week. I was trying to and I just had this crazy like stage fright that I get every now and again where I kept telling myself, today is gonna be the day that I film a video. And then I just sat around like and I couldn't do it. <laughs> I just kind of get like a rabbit in the headlights sometimes and blank out and before I know it the whole day's gone and then I'm like why? Although it was quite good in a way because I managed to nail a design for Little Doe, like a bit of packaging, something I've been needing to finish off for a while. I managed to nail it on one of the days that I was just sitting around being anxious. Um, so at least there's that. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll speak to you again soon. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.